ladies and gentlemen, I proudly present to you the 800 horsepower fire breathing mud slinging ground pounding UMP super late models. One final time for points in 2014 at the Eldora Speedway. Bobby Pierce, Mason Ziegler side by side 40 times. Dustin Jarrett, here we go. They roll off into turns one and two. Pierce going to try to move up and take the early advantage, and he does so. Ziegler tucks in line in second, still wheel to wheel for the third spot. Bowersock in 95, the Shark in the 83. They come down to complete lap number one. Bobby Pierce is your leader. In 11th. Well, as Dwayne Chamber looked at the inside of Rusty Schlenk, Schlenk pulled away down the back straightaway. Now Matt Miller, it looks like the 99 of Frank Hackenass Jr. in the seven of Kent Robinson all battle. Kent Robinson gonna drive to the inside of Frank Heckinus Jr. They're gonna work side by side off a of turn number two down the back straight away. Heckinus gonna hold on. And trouble in the 99 of Frank Heckinus Jr. He's slowing on the front straight away. So Frank Heckinus Jr. who was running inside the top 10 is slow. He'll try to pull that car into the infield and he does so. Green flag stays out. Your race leader Bobby Pierce already slicing through the back of the field on lap eight. He's got two back markers between himself and third place, second place Mason Ziegler. Bobby Pierce setting an absolutely torrid pace up at the front of the field now and oh, and he nearly made contact with the wall. Gathers it back up, 11 laps on the board, 29 laps to go. Here comes Matt Miller as well in three. Matt Miller throws a slider on the 20C at Dwayne Chamberlain. He's able to make a pass for the time being. Three wide now. They go by Bowersock. Miller goes by. Chamberlain goes by. Kent Robinson is there as well. Great racing for fifth, oh, sixth, seventh, and eighth. And they're bouncing off the walls. They're bouncing off each other, Mike Norris. And Kent Robinson again against the inside concrete. Went by all three of them. Now going to go after Matt Miller. So K-Rob on the move in that JB Salvage 7. Works to the inside of Matt Miller. Going to work door to door down the back straightaway. As they start to run down the 11. And the Jackson Assassin, Rusty Schlank. What a battle. Schlank, Miller, and K-Rob. 20 in, 20 to go. As Bobby Pierce obliterating the field here at the Eldora Speedway tonight. Running in the second spot, Mason Ziegler, third, Scott James. And James trying to run down Ziegler as they work off of four. Mason Ziegler and Scott James run second and third. And fourth goes all the way back to Kit Robinson, who's got by Matt Miller, now going to go to work on the 11. Yeah, that's a great battle for fourth. Those three drivers right there battling each other in lap traffic. K-Rob start a tenth, utilizing his patented inside of the speedway. He'll work around the lap car of Dan Schlieper. Rusty Schlank trying to work back by and about a lap position down the front straightaway. To give you an example right now, it looks like there's two, four, six, seven lap cars and nearly a full straightaway between Pierce and the second place car of Mason Ziegler. That is the pace Pierce is setting at the front of the field. And this with 25 down, 15 to go. Here comes the charging Kit Robinson out of Bloomington, Indiana. Robinson going to dig to the inside. They got a lap car, John Gill. They're going to split the difference three wide with the lap car of John Gill. K-Rob to the inside of Mason Ziegler. That's a great race. K-Rob trying to get a run down on the bottom. Ziegler up on the high side. Those two cars wheel to wheel for the third position down the back straightaway with 10 laps to go. Ziegler trying to inch ahead. Robinson trying to inch ahead. And they come off the corner that time by Kent Robinson has third. And a slowing Dan Schlieper at the end of the front straightaway and that'll bring us under caution. Meanwhile, Jacob Hawkins falls into the inside and trouble behind him. His Schlieper's slowing race car caused a few guys to get hard on the binders over in turn number two. And Green flag about to drop, 33 in the book, seven to go, and we are back underway. Bobby Pierce leads him down. Here comes Kent Robinson. Robinson gets a great start down to the inside. Tries to take the second spot away from Scott James. Kent Robinson from the 10th starting position battling Scott James for second. Well, yeah, one of the lone drivers that can make it work on the inside. He's going to drive to the inside of Scott James, make the pass for second. K-Rob may have something for Bobby Pierce, but he's pulling away down the front straightaway. As he works into one and two, it'll be Bobby Pierce, Kent Robinson, Scott James going to come back on the high side down the back straightaway. Got a car length separating them. So K-Rob now in second, Scott James third, Miller fourth. With three laps to go now, Bobby Pierce just continues his assault on the field. Oh, and he's into the concrete oh. over turns one and two. But he's okay, the Pierce posse. Pro power 32 down the back straightaway. And that Bob Pierce race car continues to show the way. 
Two to go this time by the battle for second. Rages on the Silver Sharks, Scott James, and the seven of Kent Robinson. As they work down the back straight away, here comes Scott James again at 83. Bumper to bumper with K-Rob, trying to fight back the white flag as he tries to cap off a great season in UMP. Bobby Pierce down the front straight away. K-Rob second, third James. James gonna throw a slide job at K-Rob here in the final lap. Can he hold on? K-Rob gonna dive back to the inside. Scott James to the outside. Final time into three and off before the second generation driver out of Oakwood, Illinois. Bobby Pierce wins the finale here at Eldora. K-Rob second, Scott James third. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Bobby Pierce. Man, I, there's so many things are going through my mind when I hit the wall like that. Uh, you know, the Eldora wall, it'll get you. you know, it's just the thing is, you're driving so hard, uh, you know, you, you can't start to not drive so hard before you screw up. So, you know, I had to keep driving hard, but it kept getting slicker. And, man, you know, we did it. And how fitting is it? The UNP National Champion comes home with a victory in the UNP Fall Nationals here at Eldora. Oh, that's great. You know, uh, represent UNP good. So, you know, I, I like that they have this race going on. I uh, always like racing Eldora. Uh, one of my favorite tracks, and it's just a, uh, it's just a big fun track. You know, he's got the, the uh, fans. You know, the whole place, just the whole set of things is just great here. So, you know, I like, be I like racing here, and. Uh, I like being on the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, for the final time tonight, it is showtime. Green flag is out, and we are underway with Kenny Wallace leading the field down into one and two. Taylor down to the inside. They go wheel to wheel off the corner, three, four wide throughout the field with the Jake's performance, number 36, a Kenny Wallace surging ahead. And a 49 of Clark Lake, Michigan's Brian Ruman quickly gonna go to work. He slides to the inside of Evan Taylor. Wallace out front, Rollman charges into the second position, Nick Hoffman right now third, Evan Taylor is fourth, side by side for fifth, the 13 of Jake Hawkins and the 54 of Matt Westfall. Jacob Hawkins, Jacob Hawkins started back in the 12th position, he's already worked his way up in Junior Nolan's car battling for a top five spot. The Two Brothers Motor Spot, Two Brothers Motorsports car is not gonna go to fourth. As they go around to the seven of Evan Taylor. Evan Taylor is going to work side by side with Jacob Hawkins. Hawkins going to take that spot now to four. So slide Taylor back to fifth. Good battle for six down the back straightaway. Here comes a 21 of Taylor Cook. They're going to go three wide with Matt Mavert. And I believe the seven B of Jeff Babcock off four. Keep your eyes on Taylor Cook at 21. Just unbelievable, those guys three wide back there. Mabert, the meat in the sandwich. Westfall on the outside. Cook on the inside, they stay three wide. You would have thought someone would have backed out, but a caution flag flies. One car has spun to a stop on the inside of turn number two. Nick Hoffman in two. The restarts have been crazy. Is Hoffman gonna drive to the inside of Ruhlman? Fairmount, West Virginia's Jacob Hawkin coming into a slide job from Nick Hoffman. Roman gonna cross him back over. Down the back straight going to work door to door for the second spot. Roman gonna take second away from Nick Hoffman. Roman trying to take that spot back. Hoffman gonna look back down to the inside now as they come across to complete lap number five. Roman back in sole possession of the bridesmaid honor. Behind of him, one, two, three wide for the fourth spot. Westfall and Taylor Cooks right there as well. Westfall in 54. Hawkins in the 13. Taylor back there in the five. Mavert in the 22. What a battle. Fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and beyond. And as we look across the track, the 49 of Brian Ruhlman starting to reel in the 36 of Kenny Walls, bringing Nick Hoffman along with him. Good battle right behind them, Matt Mavert, and the 13 of Jacob Hawkins, Taylor Cook, Evan Taylor, Matt Westfall, and the Owensboro, Kentucky native, Tyler Nicely. We're setting ourselves up for another great finish at the halfway point. Mike, 13 down, 12 to go, Wallace in the wall. Kenny Wallace into the wall, that'll allow Brian Ruhlman to gather him in. Oh, Mavert and Hawkins made contact as well that was for the four spot yes Haw Hawkins grabbed the wall down there Mike Hawkins grabbed a piece of the wall Mavert slid into him those two drivers gather themselves back up but back up at the front of the field Kenny Wallace tries to put a lap on Casey Ludicky can't 
right get around him, Brian Roman, Nick Hoffman closing in in a hurry. Here comes Brian Roman, watch out a slide job in your living room. Brian Roman gonna dive to the inside of Kenny Wallace. You're gonna fend him off for now, but for how long? The Clark Lake Michigan 49 rocket by Roman gonna try to run down Kenny Wallace. Nick Hoffman at elite chassis coming along as well. Oh, Bez is picking up, you can just feel it. You can feel what's happening. These guys closing in on the back of the field. Top three cars with just a little bit of distance between themselves and fourth place Jake Hawkins and fifth place Matt Maver. Wallace leads with nine laps to go. Yeah, those cars running on the high side, so Kenny Wallace is gonna have to find a way around these lap cars with Brian Ruhlman breathing down his neck. Down the front straightaway, Kenny Wallace running in the middle, trying to stay off the cushion. Brian Roman right up against the Eldora Concrete. He knows his way around here. The inexperienced 36 of Kenny Wallace. Can he hold on? One car slow on the inside of the back straightaway is the 21 of Nick Allen. The Wheatfield Indiana driver will pull in and call it a night. Meanwhile, Brian Roman now looking down to the inside of Wallace. He'll throw a slide job on him in turns one and two. Move into the race lead. Wallace crosses over, coming off turn number two. He'll try to pass him back. They're wheel to wheel down the back straight away. Jimmy Dame in front of him. Roman in 49, Wallace in 36. They come off the fourth corner. You've got a new leader. It's Brian Roman with six to go. With six laps to go, Brian Roman gonna take the race lead. So Kenny Wallace back to second, Nick Hoffman third. Don't count out the... Fairmount West Virginia driver Jacob Hawkins as well. He's charging late in this one now. Nick Hoffman's found a good run on the inside. Down to the inside of Kenny Wallace. Here comes Jacob Hawkins to the outside. The Two Brothers Motorsports, he's into the wall. Matt Maver gonna try to run by him. Down the back straightaway. Brian Ruhlman showing the way. They come down with five to go. Hoffman's got a run on Wallace through turns three and four on the inside of the racetrack. And now Nick Hoffman by a nose piece that time, had the second spot and he'll try to close in. Hawkins into the wall again, that allows Maver to get by. Second, third, fourth and fifth, all right there. Hoffman trying to close in on Ruman, but it might be too late with four to go. And this time by Mike, white flags out, final time around. One to go, Brian Ruman down the front straight away. Good, as he works into two down the back straight away. Nick Hoffman, too little, too late. The Rocket by Ruhlman, driver out of Clark Lake, Michigan, 49. Brian Ruhlman wins the $5,000 in finale here at Eldora Speedway. And the Rocket by Ruhlman, Penske Shocks, number 49 out of Clark Lake, Michigan, $5,000 richer. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Brian Ruhlman. You kept at it, you kept at it. You finally made the winning pass with six to go. Talk about the pass and how impatient you had to be. Well, I knew, I knew it. he had to make a mistake for me to get by, and I thought, well, I'll just be, keep running my line and see what happens. And once we got into lap traffic, he started moving around a little bit, and uh, I found the line on the top there that was really good. So uh, ain't that cool? I beat Kenny Wallace. You have done a lot in your career, a modified, a late model, everything else. This race, this format, the quality of competition here, where does this win rank for you in everything you've accomplished in your career? You know, I've won this race once. I've run here second a hundred times, it seems like, and uh, this one's special. I will say, I hope they make the World 100 in the dream this format. This format is badass.